Welcome to my market update video. I'm going to take a look at the price of uh, Bitcoin because we are right now at an important critical level, according to me, uh, according to my TA. And I want to talk about it uh, before uh, the market condition change. And uh, then I would have to talk about an alternate count. But uh, I don't think that's necessary. So I'm going to take a look at Bitcoin right now and give you my TA as it stands um, at the moment of recording the video. You will understand what I'm talking about when I show you, to show you the charts. So please, uh, Take a look at my disclaimer, as always, on my website page. Um, that's the English version, so I'm asking you to read this. Here's the French version, and that's the German version. You find the link to my web page in the description of this video. So now let's look, let's take a look at the price and see, okay, with the, the alternate count is still not on. We are still in my main count. So I'm going to, to talk about that. First, uh, this is um, Bitcoin um, on the monthly chart. And as you can see, we bottomed here where you have the four. Then we had uh, the first move, the correction, wave two, which was a long correction. It was not a short correction like here or here, but it was a long correction like here and here. Uh, no, not here, I mean, before that. So it was a long correction like you had here or here. So it was a long correction, but according to me, that correction is now over. And we should be entering, we, sh we should have uh, bottomed uh, out wave two and should now start wave three. Um, we are also uh, going into the Bitcoin happening next uh, May. So that is uh, during the next six months. So price should be picking up. Now let's switch to the weekly chart. <clears throat> so the weekly chart with the ABC correction gives you the correction here <coughs> and tells you that you're in an up wave now. Uh, let's jump to the two day chart. So here you have it in more detail. So according to me, we bottomed here at C and then we had wave one now we are in the correction of wave two and uh, we should be starting anytime now uh, wave three. So this is extremely important to me as you will see with next chart because this is the last FIB level. We are sitting on it right now. We touched it uh, or close to it, close enough. So now there's no more FIB level left and the next one would be a full retracement. So that would be still be possible but we cannot exceed that if this count is correct if this is point c and this one point one uh, the first wave so if that count is correct we have to stay above uh, the le level that i will show you on the daily chart we must stay above 7293.55 as long as we stand about above uh, 7293.55 we are my count is correct if we go below that I have to be looking for an alternate count then uh, then uh, we did not bottom here and we are still in a correction so I think that the correction is over that that was the first, first move of uh, wave 3 wave 3 is uh, will will develop in three waves. So this is the first wave. The second wave can retrace up to 100%. So we cannot go below 
7,293.55 if this count is correct. I hope that's the case. If it's not, I have to be looking for an alternate count. That's why I'm doing the video right, right now, because we are so close. We are so close say, since days, okay? And the price is not picking up. And I, I think that if I, I mean, you have to be, be, be prepared to be wrong. You have, you have to prepare for failure. So if my wave count is wrong, I will have to, give, uh, to come up with an alternate count. But that what wouldn't be a nice uh, thing to do. So to me right now, that's the count. I see no alternate count. Everything is correct, but we cannot go any lower. Not uh, at least not really. Uh, not we cannot go much more lower. We cannot uh, go below uh, seven thousand two hundred ninety-three fifty-five because if we do, then this count is wrong. So to me, we had also in the wave two we had an A B C, and this one looks like uh, the C wave looks like a, if it happened in five waves. So to me, we are sitting on it. If I would be speculating not investing, but speculating, I would put my stop loss uh, just below uh, 7,293.55. Or uh, say it in another way, I would put my liquidation just below that point. Okay, that's the really important stuff. Now I'm going to take a look at the other indicators. Most of the indicators are bearish. So let's just uh, go back to uh, the positive stuff. So as you can see, uh, to me, uh, that correction is over. Wave three is starting, and then uh, and then you will get a correction of wave three, and then wave wave five. So that's what I'm expecting. And until then, everything should be fine. Um, Here also you see that the correction has uh, played out. Here again you have the correction uh, played out on the two-day chart and on the one-day chart. And I would also tell you that um, I think that it's possible that uh, wave five will be around 20k. Uh, that should be possible. Um, but in order that this count is correct, we have to be buttoning uh, out right now. I mean, um, we cannot go much lower since we can only just retrace 100%, not 101%. So this is a, it, this to me is a very critical moment where we are, and it will either hold or break. And now let's, uh, if, if you only want to know my outlook, so to me, we won't go any lower than and the level we, have, we are at right now. Um, and we are starting an, uh, an uptrend. Uh, we are starting wave three of an uptrend. So that's the best, best uh, moment to go long, according to me. But uh, that's my opinion, my opinion. There are other analysts out there. Uh, all of them are, go, are very bearish because um, the correction we had was a, a, a long, deep, and hard one. I mean, this was no fun for any for any one uh, person. So all most of the analysts are giving up. Uh, since we we touched uh, wave five here. Um, the correction was uh, was very compl uh, complex and very difficult and very long i got time wise also so most of the analysts are um, are giving up they have no more faith in bitcoin they are capitulating the emotions the, in the psychological aspect is just overwhelming them so to me everything is fine but uh, we have not we must stay um, higher than 7,293.55. If we do not, then we are still in a corrective phase and I have to come up with a different uh, count. Okay, uh, that being said, I'm going to take a look uh, fast at um, my other indicators. 
And if everything goes fine, I won't have to come up with an alternate count. If everything goes fine, this count holds, it should hold. I give it a high probability that this count holds. If it does not, I will have to come up with an alternate count. But I hope that, uh, that that's not the case, and that I don't, won't have to make that video, that I won't have to make that intervention. So uh, for now, uh, now that being said, I'm going to take a look at uh, other indicators just for fun and see if they are um, bullish or bearish. Um, be aware, <laughs> if you don't want me to put your more to zero, don't look at them. Uh, I have not, uh, they are mostly bearish, so you won't like what you see. They're mostly negative. Uh, starting with the TD sequential, you're on a red number one. So that's not a good sign at all. Uh, it will be even worse when you get a two below a one. Uh, here we have uh, the simple uh, moving averages and um, they are still, no, that's the exponential moving averages, yeah, EM8. And they are still fully bullish. So uh, that's positive actually. I thought that I won't uh, show you much uh, positive indicators, but uh, it is positive. Um, it is less positive on the simple moving average since uh, the green one went below the yellow one. You had a death cross. That is less positive. Um, here we are looking at uh, some new indicators. So that's a dollar cost averaging. And uh, the other ones um, also, I think dollar cost averaging uh, can uh, indicators. So the first one told you that here was the best moment to buy and go long, and that was the case. And um, now it's not uh, terribly looking. Uh, I mean, it's just um, it's just fine. Um, I mean, that was the best place to buy, but uh, but you're not too far from it, and there should be more upside coming. This indicator is, as you can see, negative with the moving averages since you went, we went positive for a short period of time, but we are negative again. Here we are negative uh, because you had a death cross and TK is also negative. I tell you, most of the indicators will be negative. This indicator is negative too. So I'm not giving you the name of every indicator because I don't want to look it up. I don't know that by heart. The only thing that counts to me is Ralph Nelson Elliott is the wave principle. Uh, apart from that, I don't care about the rest. I look for, uh, for it for fun to see what it gives me, but I don't care about it. Uh, here you had the death cross and we are still uh, down and for now not looking better. The same thing on that on the next uh, indicator. Uh, here also a death cross, and we are picking up, but uh, <clears throat> the golden cross is not happening for now. Momentum indicator is negative. As you will see, I think I will go until the end of all my indicators and tell you negative, 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 and negative. All of them look, look uh, horrendous. They look horrible. I mean, uh, and people are uh, desperate. People uh, can't take it anymore. They think we're still in a bear market. Um, they think that the halvening won't uh, do anything, any good to Bitcoin. They are totally, totally giving up on, on Bitcoin right now. And that should not be the case because we already, in my opinion, we already buttoned. We buttoned out here. And now we had the, the first wave and we're in a, in a second wave. So in my opinion, we should, 
um, it should not be that desperate. But because uh, wave two is retracing a lot, people are, are getting again uh, desperate, which is quite understandable. Especially since they know nothing about TA. So, I mean, they cannot do anything else than, than throw the towel, than, um, than give up. That's the only thing they can do. They have nothing to hold them. Uh, they have nothing to hold on to or believe in. So here, as you can see, this one is a negative two. The next indicator. Okay, that's the COPEP curve. And here we have something positive since we went positive here uh, slightly, and that's great. Uh, but um, here we are positive also because we are uh, above that moving average. But um, so there's, uh, there's some hope uh, looking at that. And that's an important indicator. Um, here we are negative because we are below the middle uh, Bollinger Band. We tried to get above it, but were rejected. Um, this one is negative to me because we are below the white moving average. And that's my uh, line in the sand. When we are above it, it is bullish to me. That was bullish. And when we are below, it is negative to me. Um, I think that that is MACD. Yes, it is. And MACD is negative here, negative here, negative here. MACD is totally negative for now. And quite oversold. Uh, this is stochastic. Let's just stack, yes. And we are very low on the stochastic reading too, and it's negative. So most of the indicators, as I told you, will be negative. But still, uh, for, the f for the heck of it, for the fun of it, let's take a look at them. Here, we were positive during the up move, and now we went negative, and we are still negative. Uh, but uh, the good news is that the green one went uh, again higher than the yellow one, which is positive. But now we have to go higher uh, so that the green one will get above the uh, red one. That would be positive to the moving averages. Uh, those points, whatever that, that indicator is, is, divergence indicator is negative. Uh, here we we topped and we are looking. I'm looking for a point like this one that gives me the bottom. Uh, candlestick are be is bearish since the last one was a bearish harami. Here we are negative because we are below the middle band. Uh, the middle, uh, yeah, the middle band. And that's not a Bollinger Band, but anyways, uh, we are below the middle band and that's negative. Okay, uh, first indicator is still green, so that's quite nice, but we are starting to eat into the green and it's compressed which is not good. Um, I don't want us to go below 7K according to that indicator. Uh, second indicator is negative. The third indicator is still positive, but very slightly. The third indicator is negative and the last indicator is still positive. Here we are still positive and that's an important uh, indicator stop and reverse on the three week chart to me because as long as we are above it, I consider us being in a bull market. All that 
that rice was a bull uh, was uh, was the bull market the last bull market and it worked perfectly apart from this point but it was corrected very uh, uh, straight afterwards and now we are very uh, close to hitting it and turn negative which is not a good sign but as long as we are above it i consider us being in the bull market according to that indicator now that indicator does not count to me i <laughs> i'm only looking for the fun at it i only care about um, um edit waves so i don't care about that indicator but i'm telling you what i see uh when i look at the other indicators just so you get a full picture and can uh, can make an educated guess can make your um, uh, opinion about the market so here we are uh, negative again we were we went positive for two weeks but we are negative again um I want this point to hold. Normally, in a bull market, they, they always hold whatever those points are. I, I mean, they're probably fractals. Yes, they are. So I want the fractals to, to hold. And normally, they do. Uh, if we take a look at the last uh, bull market, I mean, they never were, were taken out, uh, as you can see. Oh, well, nearly never. Uh, they were taking this one was taken out, but uh, the other one were not taken out. That one was not taken out. And those one were not taken out, and those ones. I mean, you make higher highs and and higher lows in a bull market. So here we had the exceptions of those two breaking, and here you made uh, lower lows. But now I am expecting us to make higher highs again. So I do not expect uh, um, that point to break. <laughs> so this is OBV and percented air. So they are all uh, oversold and we must be picking up. I mean, we are in oversold territory for a long time. If we keep being in oversold territory, it would be a bear market. I mean, we should not go below uh, the lower line here. Uh, when we, if, we, if we go below, it's, uh, it's bear market territory. So here we were below, then we picked up and now we are uh, on the edge. So that's not positive. I would give it a negative, but it's oversold. So after oversold, you uh, price should pick up, which is positive. So first indicator is positive. Uh, second indicator, let's take a look, closer look. It's negative. Uh, third indicator is still positive. Um, that indicator is negative for now, but it should um, go to positive uh, very soon because we already have uh, one, two, three, four candles negative. And uh, normally, as you can see, even here you had one candle negative, two, three, for the fourth one was positive. Then you had one more negative and a couple of negative, but then you, we went positive again. So I'm expecting this uh, indicator to give a trend up after giving us a trend down. And here we are negative. This is... Um, Well, anyways, uh, I don't have the name exactly for those indicators and I don't want to look it up. So uh, it does not matter to me. The only thing that what, which matters is if it's positive or negative and that I can find them when I have to, uh, to put them on my charts. So uh, the first one is positive. Um, the second one is still positive, but we are close to going negative. The third one is negative. Uh, 
And the fourth one is negative. And the last one is, I would give it a positive, but very likely positive. Uh, here, we went through the green um, uh, dots, and now we have a lot of uh, resistance above, which is negative. So I would give it negative for the first indicator. The second indicator is RSE. RSE is in the middle. So uh, to me, it's quite oversold, and price should be um, picking up, because if we go lower, I would consider it a bear market. Uh, this one is also an RSE, the, uh, the third one. I think it's an RSE and it's negative. And the last one, may, it's, it could not be. Huh? I could be wrong. Uh, maybe it's not an RSE. Anyways, uh, the indicator is, is clearly negative. And the last one is, um, uh, the last one is uh, something like a thermometer. Um, and something like volume, and it's low right now. Uh, first indicator is negative because we are below the middle band. Uh, the last indicator, uh, the next indicator is negative. This is ADX, I think. No, it's an RSE AMR, so it's negative. Uh, Robo is negative too, and the last indicator is negative. They are all negative. But uh, probably they are lagging indicators, so it, it doesn't tell you much. Here we are negative for a long time now. Uh, this one is negative too. The first one is negative. Um, the fourth one is negative, clearly negative, and uh, looking horrendous. And the last one is negative. Here we are less bullish as we were here. Uh, here, as you can see, um, the green one was above the yellow one, which was the first um, uh, golden cross to me. Then here we had one golden cross, and here we had the ne next golden cross. And then we have were uh, fully bullish since the green was, was above the yellow one, and then we had the red ones. Now we have still the green ones and the yellow one above, but the yellow one went above the green one, which is uh, negative. So it's less uh, positive as it was um, in the past. Uh, that's probably ADX. Yes, it is. And uh, the first indicator is still positive, but we are below uh, um, the moving average, which is not that good. So slightly negative, but it's still green, so it's still positive. Uh, the second indicator is uh, ADX is positive. Uh, the third indicator is also positive, and the last indicator is still positive, but low, uh, but oversold. So uh, to me, we should be uh, picking up. Price should be picking up, if I look at that. Here we are positive on the first indicator, and the second one is also is also positive. Those are probably two ADX. Yes, they are, and they are positive, which is nice. Here I don't know what we are looking at. Let's see. Uh, that's the distance for moving average, and the other ones are. The last one is RSE, a wave principle. Well, anyways, 
Um, let's just see if they are positive or negative. So here we are very low, so we are close to that moving average. Um, I don't know which one it is, but it does not matter. It's just we are close, so it's a good entry point, according to me. Here we are below the middle band, uh, the, middle band uh, the zero, so that's negative. And I don't like us being here because to me that's a bear market territory. Here we're negative, here we're negative, and here, I mean, I must look at the rest to see, but I think that we are quite low. Uh, let's see the last, last bull market. I mean, last bull market, you, were, you never went below the, the white one or very, um, not for a long period of time, not for an extended period of time. So I don't like us being below the right band. And right now we are just below it. So that's negative to me. The last one is negative too. And that's not good. I mean, price should pick up and can pick up, but if it does not, a a, we are entering bear market. Uh, first indicator is negative, second indicator is negative, third indicator is very low. Um, I mean, um, extremely low, extremely oversold. The third indicator is negative and the last indicator is positive. I don't know why, but it, it is, no. I know why, uh, because I'm having it uh, the other way around. I have to correct this. Uh, this one must be green. And this one must be red. So now it's negative and that's what it should be. So here we were positive during that period of time and then we went negative. And now we are negative. Uh, first one is negative, second one is positive, uh, last one is negative. Uh, first one is positive, second one is positive, uh, third one is negative and not looking good. This looked all very nice um, and up to here and then we went negative and we're still looking badly. Last indicator is a, is positive, but not much. Quite, a, I would give it a zero, neutral. It's not an important indicator. Here we had uh, uh, the arrow down, which is negative, but we are above the cloud, which is positive. Okay, this I don't like at all. Uh, that's a negative sign and it never happened during the last, um, I don't think it happened once during the last bull market. So I'm just going to take a look at the last two bull markets to see if we went negative on that indicator. And I don't think we did, but let's take a look. Uh, so during that bull market, the last bull market, we never went negative, not once. And before that, uh, before that, okay, before that we went negative once here, but it was at the big beginning when it did not really start. And from that point on, we kept positive without going negative. So. I don't like uh, that negative sign at all. And the only thing that I can say is that the week is not over, so it can still turn positive. But I don't like seeing it negative at all because when it changes, it keeps, uh, it's normally, it's a bear market. When, when that goes uh, red, it's a bear market. Here you were in a bear market during the uh, entire time. 
And before that, um, I mean, when it went red, you were in a bear market too. I mean, when it went red here, you were in a bear market too and stayed, it stayed red a long time. So this to me is everything but good. I mean, that's, that's a very bad sign and uh, nothing to reju reduce yourself over. But that's how it is. I'm, I'm only giving you the data as I see it. Here we are negative and we were negative a couple of weeks and then we went negative again. That's uh, I think a lot of negative momentum. In the last uh, bull market, we went negative here and we went negative um, here, but over shorter periods of time. This time we are negative for a long extended period of time. And that's why people uh, start losing it because it's just looking bad since, since, so, uh, since a lot of weeks. It's looking bad since, um, let's take a look uh, how, for how long it's looking bad. So where's my indicator that allows me to take a look at that? I think that's the one. Um, so now it's looking bad for 21 bars. So I mean 21 weeks, 147 days. Uh, and the week is made of seven um, days, so it's uh, looking bad since um, quite some time right now. Uh, that's a long period of time. That's why people are giving up on on Bitcoin. Here we are clearly negative. Here price is compressing and um, I think it's not the end of the world because it happened before and afterwards it should be picking up again. But it's also not a bullish sign for now. I mean, it, it is because after compression, uh, uh, normally price goes up. Um, let's see if I can show you an example. Okay, here the, the bull market did start and price were compressed. Uh, I mean, it went down uh, and then you went up and keep uh, rising. So that's all I can think about that we should go up and keep rising. But for now, it's not looking so great. Okay, I'll just uh, blow my nose and I'll be back. Okay, you should be able to hear me again. And we are looking at the next indicator. So this one is negative. And then the next one. Uh, here people are betting on uh, long, so they are bullish and that's also negative because if they are bullish, uh, price should go, should go down. And that's not a good thing uh, if we look at where we are. Here it gives you the top and no other indication after that. Okay, uh, I'm expecting this that point to hold as uh, 
with the fractals. So I'm expecting this point to hold. If it does not, it's a bad sign. And, um, and then we have resistance here and here. Here we are negative on that indicator. Uh, here you did have a sell signal and you're still negative. And that's bad. I mean, when it's the case, it's a bear market territory. Let's go back to the last indicator if I can. Let's go quickly back and see how much uh, how much if if it happened in the during the last uh, bull market. I don't think it did, and if it did for a very short time, he did, but for a short time, he did for a longer time. So it's quite similar. What we're we living right now is quite similar to this. But you were not that much below it. I mean, here, yes, but then you quickly went up again. And for the rest of the time, you were bullish. Uh, so uh, we are below it and, and quiet for a long distance. So I don't like this. I want us to be above that um, sell signal in no time. Here we are negative and not looking good. Uh, here um, it is delayed, but it's, uh, I mean, what's that to say? The, the gap was filled. Here we are negative and uh, um, the second indicator is negative too. Here, um, we had the long close and no indication to go long for now. Here we're still positive, but below uh, that band. I mean, I have to go back to that indicator because it's not, um, it is lagging. Okay, we're still positive on this one. But if we keep staying below it, uh, it will turn negative. First indicator is negative, second indicator is negative, third indicator is negative, and last indicator to me is negative two. oversold. Here we had a lot of sell signals and no signal to go long for now. And here we are negative. Um, here we eat into that cloud, which is not good. We should go be, we should be above it, since this is supposed to be a bull market. And in a bull market, as you can see, you, most of the time you spend above 
that cloud and not below it. So the only thing that I can say is that it's not good and that we should be pick, um, picking up very soon. Here you have some trend lines uh, which are resistance above. This trend line, we are now below it, um, but we, um, I would still say that we are following it. So that's not uh, the end of the world, but we have to be picking up. We have to go higher and break those two trend lines. Uh, here one more trend line. The, um, the purple one is the important one and it's resistance. Here we negative because we are below uh, that la uh, that uh, middle Bollinger band. Okay, uh, this is a look on Bitcoin zoomed out with trend lines. And as you can see, the blue trend line hold in a bull market. So, uh, so this one I'm expecting it to hold. And I also could see the other one break. Uh, anyway, so, um, that line here is pointing down, that line here is pointing down, and we should break it and start the bull market, just as we did here. That's at least what I'm expecting here. Also, the uh, red line is pointing up, as you can see. Here we are pointing down, and we should, uh, we should uh, be, go uh, be going higher and um, have the line point up. Here you had an indication to go long. Uh, it is positive because we are above that line. And this one, we're starting to eat into those uh, moving averages, into those bands. This one is still positive. We are sitting on the uh, moving average for now. Let's see if it holds. Um, here we're looking less bullish than we were here, but still not desperate. Um, we broke uh, that uh, line, which was support, and now it's resistance. We are below it. So that FIB level uh, is gone. Here you have that FIB level, which is support. And it's the last one. After that, you would have a full retracement, which could happen if we go into my alternate count. But I'm not expecting it. I'm expecting the count that I gave you at the beginning of this video to hold. 
here we are negative on the first one or at least very oversold here we are also very oversold and that that's the indicator is negative and the first indicator is negative too first indicator is negative um, second indicator is positive i don't know why but it is and the last indicator is negative here we're negative because we are in below the middle band here we're negative same thing Um, I don't like us being below uh, that band because that's um, starting to look creepy. And if the bar band uh, goes down, we would be in a um, bear market. But for now, it's still positive, but we are below it, which is not a good sign. It's like something like here. So we need to be keep picking up. and then stay uh, above it. Can this happen? Yes. Do I expect it? Yes, I do. Here the same thing. We are below that Bollinger in Japan. It's starting to point down, which, is ne uh, which would be negative. Uh, right now, you still can give it a flat, but we are below it and we should be above it. Uh, this one starts turning red, which is negative, and the last one gave you a buying opportunity in the, on the last candle, and now it's telling you that the trend should uh, follow. And since it's in a bull market, uh, we should go up, but we are not for now. And this one is positive. Here it gave you a buy signal, a great buy signal on that red um, band, and now we are positive, which is nice. Here it gave you also a buy signal on those green ones, and now mm, since it's a bull market, is it should be positive, but we are below the uh, white uh, band, uh, moving average, so that's negative. Uh, here we are negative, and the last one is negative too. Uh, this one is negative. It was positive for a short period of time, but now we are negative again. Here we are below every uh, moving average, every band, and that's negative. And same thing goes for this one. Okay. The first one is positive. The second one is uh, giving you a, a green signal, which I would give it a positive. The uh, third one is negative. Uh, this one, the first one is negative because we are below, we should be above it. I'm expecting us to be above it in no time. Above that uh, moving average. Uh, this one is negative, the second one is negative, and the third one is negative. Uh, that is Theta. So Theta is still uh, very high and not pointing down, which is positive. When Tether starts pointing down, we are in a bear market. Here we are clearly in a bear market and the price afterwards collapsed. And Tether gave you uh, the collapse in front. It told you that uh, Tethers are being sold and then uh, price collapsed. And then Tethers p 
picked up again and the bull market started. So for now, tethers are still very high and not pointing down, which is a good sign, which is positive. Uh, crypto fee index, uh, we are uh, on fear, at least I think so. Let's reload. Yes, we are. 32 fear. Um, here, uh, interest in Bitcoin is very low. I'm going to reload the page, but it is. And it's picking a bit up, but we are still very low. And that's my disclaimers. So uh, to recap, after looking at all those indicators, I think that that still counts. Uh, I think that wave two has, uh, has played out and that we are at the start of, uh, as you can see also with the ABC correction and that we are on the start of uh, wave three, as you can see here. I hope that that FIB level holds. If it does not, you will get a full retracement. Uh, then if we do get a full retracement, I hope that uh, the 7,293, um, uh, 7, uh, uh, 55 will hold. If it does not, I will have to make a new uh, intervention and talk about an alternate count. But for now, I'm expecting, uh, I hope that that FIB level is holding. It's the last one that we have all the others uh, broke. Um, I think that uh, this is an ABC correction and um, it should be a zigzag, a simple zigzag, a zigzag. I don't expect this correction to be very complex. And even if it is, I do not um, want to see price go below. That's very critical to me, 7,293. I said it maybe 10 or 20 times doing this intervention. But if it does, I have to be looking for an alternate count and that would be bad news. As long as price stays uh, above it, I mean, everything with my count is correct. It is uh, validated, confirmed, and uh, we should be have smooth sailing up to 20K. Okay, uh, thanks for watching this video. I'll see you uh, when I'll do my next inter intervention.